This statue appeared to be the same hero I had seen depicted in the fountain room. This had to be significant. This was... Braziers were all lit, but still the door remained sealed. Perhaps I had ignited too many. So, our wretched little savior returns. Come to join the last pathetic battle of the vampire race? But on which side, I wonder? I've not come to fight you, Vorador. You don't know why you're here. I know this much. That you are the author of my fate. And as such, only you can rewrite it. <laughs> you give me too much credit. You forge the Reaver. 
I have seen the evidence. I was its maker, yes. Then you know its purpose. No. Only the scraps of prophecy my master shared with me. And do these scraps explain why you would forge a weapon to imprison your savior? Ah, well then. It seems we have our answer. You've chosen your path. I have chosen nothing. I've been deceived at every turn. You seem to know what I am. Tell me. I thought I did, once. But now all the prophecies have failed. The pillars are corrupted. I am the last of my kind. And when Mobius's hunters find me, it will have all been for nothing. You've forgotten about Cain. Ah, yes, Cain. I fear he shoulders a greater burden than he realizes. I cannot help you, even if I was inclined to. I crafted the Reaver Blade, but only at the behest of my sire, Janos Audrin. What sorcery he and the others laid upon the sword afterward, I cannot say. Janos tried to give me the Reaver before he died. He said that it was forged for me. But what did he mean? As my weapon, or my prison? Perhaps you should ask him yourself. Janos is here. In a manner of speaking, 